What's up, everyone? This is Ella Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we were a bit preoccupied with a few new events, including another time with the twins and spending some time with Maruki. We also spent a few other days with some of our other confidants. We managed to get the giant shogi piece that's super annoying to get. But overall, we still have about a week and a half left before our deadline. In this episode, there really isn't a whole lot going on tonight. We could hang out with Oya or Mishima, but the one thing that I'm going to be doing this evening is fixing up the laptop. Now, this isn't really any different from what it was before. The laptop has the same purpose, but what you can do with it is a little bit different. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's just fix it. Okay. What are your thoughts? Hmm. It's still Tanaka. Now Tanaka's lines aren't really anything different. There is a bit of a difference with shady commodities this time around, but we'll go over that this evening. Looks like everyone's cheering for Kasumi now. And now we're also back into our winter uniforms. So what all is available? There's a lot. Okay, okay, there's a lot of things here. There's something from Haru, but I assume she just wants to head on, yeah, she just wants to head on into the Mentos. What all do we still, have. Is it just the cheater? The only mementos quest we have? Yeah, it's just the cheater. All right, well, no sense really going into that. Uh, Shinya is available today. So today we're gonna be spending our time with him. Now that that's taken care of, what are we doing this evening? Well, oh hey, you I want to spend some time. It's been a while. Anyway, I mentioned that there's a bit of a difference with shady commodities this time around. All right, so shady commodities functions pretty much the same as it did before. You order stuff off of Tanaka's website, and it will eventually come in just like the normal shopping network. And you can only do one package at a time, so you can't order more stuff while another one is on the way. As you purchase more stuff, more items will become available. Just like it was before, there are some tiers. Hmm. 
So yes, we're gonna sign up. We're not gonna use our real name. Blah, 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 blah. So, there are a bunch of different items that Shady Commodities will have this time around compared to the original Persona 5. Honestly speaking, it's a massive downgrade. There's a lot less useful things that are available from Shady Commodities this time around compared to what you could get from the original game. Now, for our purposes, we've got plenty of money, so I'm just going to buy all these different Magatamas. And the 5-inch nails. Not really much of a reason to get the sense mirrors. Uh, but we'll just go with that for now. So, for spending over 10,000 yen, we are now the black rank. And that's all we've got at the moment. So, that's all available as of the base rank. And you'll understand what I mean about not having as many good things and it being an overall downgrade once we reach the highest tier. So anyway, what else is available today? Um, Akechi, but we can't do anything with Akechi. Uh, Mishima. Um, I get... But we do have Hanged Man, right? I think we do. Yeah, Hecticon carries. Alright. So yeah, we should be fine. It's been a while since we spent any time with EY. So tonight we're going to be spending time with him. So interesting thing of note, at rank 5, you get the discount. So now customizing guns at least costs less money. I want to say right. it cuts the cost of gun customization down to half. Granted for me, this doesn't make any difference because of a future thing, but... If you're in the middle of gun customizations, this can help out in saving some money. Oh. Nah, it's fine. You know, considering just how in the dark he is, you're probably right. Sunday, what all is available? Well, we've got to the shopping network. So let's see what's available today. We've got the pumpkin ghost set with a lantern necklace and pumpkin soup. All right. Next is the ghost repellent set. Man, they're really just pushing into this Halloween crap. We have baptismal water and exorcism water. Not bad. Um, the ghost repellent wouldn't exactly be bad. I kind of want to actually see what that lantern thing is. So, we'll go with the pumpkin ghost set. Alright then. And also, I've completely forgot about this. The item that we got from Hifumi back in the Hawaii trip... Uh, let's see, where... Oh, it doesn't actually show up here? What? Here, hold on, let me try to find it. Oh, um, turns out I already bought the lantern necklace. <laughs> it's just basically a fire amp. So now we've got two of them in case we wanted it for ourselves and on. Okay, here it is. So, the item that we get from 
spending time with Hifumi is the Honu Charm, which gives us Evade Curse. So, not a bad accessory. It is a bit late in the game to really get that sort of thing, so it's not the most helpful thing, but it's something. All right, so what all is available today? Um, Makoto's available. And that seems to be about it. Okay, well, if Makoto's available, then why don't we spend some time with her? Yeah, sure, what's up? <sighs> Look, it was no problem at all, all right? You can do this, Makoto. Alright, see ya. that's taken care of. What all is available tonight? Um, oh. Futaba wants to see back to the ninja. Um, well, that is something that we'll be doing this evening since that's a new movie and a new way to spend time with Futaba. But we also have something interesting that's in the second-hand shop. How can I help you? I don't know when they start doing this, but the first time I noticed this was that from today onward, the second-hand shop sells liquid mercury. So if you're having trouble trying to find enough liquid mercury in order to get the eternal lockpick, you can buy one liquid mercury here once every couple of days, probably at most once a week. So that can definitely help you out if you're having trouble trying to find that. In the meantime, oh, actually, before I do that, uh, we've got something here. Interesting thing to note, and I'm not sure if I saw this in the previous game, but you can't actually send a postcard when it's raining. I tried that, you know, to potentially help out in spending time with Hifumi, and the game wouldn't let me. So we're gonna send a postcard to EY. Ah, perfect. All right, so we only needed that one little instance. All right, in which case, this evening, we are seeing Back to the Ninja with Futaba. Uh, my sandal has come undone. You're too slow. Unless you can move at the speed of light, you'll never be able to go back to the future. This movie's just a hot mess, and I love it. Ooh. 
What, dude? Why? Why did they turn Marty McFly into a ninja? <laughs> this is so dumb, and I love it. Gotcha. And besides, certain things that we have today was inspired by science fiction, so who knows? Maybe that stuff will be available in the future one day. Yeah, huh? Thanks. It was my pleasure. Now you're giving me ideas. What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but... Well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but... I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Uh, oh, hey, Kasumi. Excuse me. Huh? What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Oh no, she seemed down. Didn't she seem off to you? Yeah. Huh? Oh, it's her good luck charm. Yoshizawa must have dropped it. How else do you explain that? She's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Good call. 
Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How many of you saw this on handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Ah, <sighs> Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. Uh. Sir. So, uh, pardon me, but there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamashita, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot understand. Watermelons in the sun. What are the watermelons? The watermelons are stars. This is it. <laughs> That's it. Face is big. <laughs> That's essentially what the lesson is. <sighs> right. Flying bank. Pyramid in Egypt, a space station. Hmm? Uh, hello? Sampras? Yeah? I'm sorry. I just now noticed that you tried to reach me. My smartphone seems to be acting up again. And you found my good luck charm, right? Yeah, I did. Um, where are you right now? 
Oh, Daiba? She's at the stadium? How? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. Kasumi? Yeah, it seems like it. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Something probably did. This isn't like Kasumi at all. I don't know what's up with her, but I'm worried. Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. Hopefully it brightens her up a little bit. To Odaiba, right? To Odaiba. <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai, and even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I want to get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. This atmosphere. Is this a palace? Well, I'm in my thief attire. You're in yours as well. What do you think? But we never activated the nav. Wait. Do you think it was Yoshizawa? How could it be Kasumi? The only way she would have that would be if she had the nav. Wait. You're not suggesting... It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. Fast! Right. This is quite interesting. A sudden palace has arrived. Seemingly from Kasumi with the nav? That doesn't make any sense. Why would she have the meta nav? I can feel it. Oh. We'll, ha we'll find the answer to that later. Right now, we need to find her. What is this place, though? Nav on our end didn't mention whose this is, or even how we were able to get in here. What's going on? Well, whatever. We can think about this later. Only 
one way to find out. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, well, it's freaky, whatever it is. Birds? I don't see anything that I could potentially nab. Just all the birds. Doors unfortunately locked though, so we're gonna need to find a different way inward to progress onward. Seemingly. Oh. Well, there's only one way to get up there. And it looks like there's a path up this way. Go up here, climb up this, and then hook shot our way up. I have something. So we can get up this way. It looks like we can get across from here. Jump up this way. Weird with these structures. Who's there? Was that Yoshizawa? That sounded just like her. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Stay on guard, though. All right. We don't know what's here. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I... It's my fault. What? Come on. Right. You must... Kasumi. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> you must... She's always in trouble. Kasumi! Heresy! You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! Are you alright, Yoshizawa? Are you hurt? That voice. Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. <sighs> Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting it perks like that. Where are these voices? It's the same as with Futaba's. Her whole I'm not bother routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned that? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Not only have we lost one, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? Kasumi? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. my life with this pressure demanding the results that you want Yoshizawa could she be and now you're all branding me a failure let me remind you who you're talking to I am I am Kasumi Yoshizawa 
So adamant. <laughs> now we're gonna accept away from sinners. You strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... This is quite the surprise. Our little Kasumi has had the potential within her. What I and do? with all the pressure built up, it's only natural that she has something to vent out her frustrations. Propped up as if she's some sort of chosen one, yet dr driven down once they're not met with those self-imposed expectations. Well. Something had to break. And it was sure as hell wasn't going to be her spirit. So now we have an awakening battle against the evil synthetic organism, which, goodness gracious, I completely forgot to actually look up notes for this. But we do have someone to assist us with. We have Kasumi as well as a new persona. The Bell of the Ball. Sondrion! Show them, Sondrion! <sighs> Thankfully, this guy is weak to light. And really, that's all you really need to know about it. Physical attacks do neutral damage, it nulls wind. Okay, well, if it's light, uh, do I have anything besides... I guess I could go with Lilim. That certainly works. Plus, I should also go over what all she has. So, Kasumi... Along with having, let's see, the Veil of Midnight, Sondrion's trait, increases the chance of an ally to not be downed when they are attacked. You know, I just realized I don't think I ever checked what Milady's was. <laughs> She's weak to darkness and also has light skills as well as physical attacks. As well as Ab Pupil, which can increase the chance of critting. So, very interesting. Uh, pay no attention to that level 75. That's not going to be important. So we'll just attack again. Uh, I'm going to have Mona heal her up. Okay, well, that definitely could have gone better. Oh, I wanted to actually finish it with an all-out attack. Oh, well. Oh, we've also got Maraku Kanja from Ananta. Um, he doesn't need to spare. Ooh, next is Freydine.
Are you all right? I can't be weak anymore. Whoa! I'm quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? That's me. I knew it. By the way... Why are we dressed like this now? That's... a long story. A really long story. Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. We can explain later. Come on, follow my lead. We'll get out of here. Right. Changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but... What should we do? Well, it's not like we can hide anything. We may as well just come clean to her. It's the only way. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally, I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? I'm surprised it took you that long. It took you long enough, and I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, Senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? Oh, yeah. Your good luck charm. You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. Well, that was the whole reason we came here. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. Would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so I have to say it's not an unfair consequence. But I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. Kasumi. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then, all of a sudden, I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? Well, first she'd need the nav, and then find the coordinates. How do you do that accidentally? Sounds like it was pure coincidence, based on what she's told us. It's gotta be the nav, right? 
a nap. Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Hmm? Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Or get a new phone? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. I mean, it's still a palace, though. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Oh. Well, I guess that's true. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... Um... You are, aren't you? Yeah... I knew it. Wait... That means... When we were at the cafe with the Ketchisan... I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Yup. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. I said it before and I say it again. It's a valid viewpoint. With that out of the way, what's your call? What? About Kasumi? That's right. You're asking if... Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? I mean, sure, but... So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. Only if you want to, though. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry, I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. You want to get out of your current slog first. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. Well, I'm a little disappointed, but I can't say that I'm not surprised. And honestly, after knowing you for as long as I have, it's very much like you, Kasumi. Thank you. I understand. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. Good, because we really need you to keep this a secret. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Our offer is always available. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. <laughs> Shall we get going? Let's get out of here. Quite a lot's happened today. But I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. See ya, Kasumi. Mm. You and me both.
I mean. Right, but we can't force her to join us. If she changes her mind, she'll let us know. Hey. Ooh! My package came in! With my soups! <laughs> All right, well, unfortunately, we can't really do anything this evening, and besides the point, we've been going on for quite long enough, a lot of interesting new plot stuff happening. It is a bit odd that you do have that little bit while you're in the middle of Okumura's palace, because theoretically, you can get that before you've gone into and have completed Okumura's palace. So it's very interesting how it's just kind of thrown in here. Then again, with a bunch of other stuff that kind of happens, there's not really a lot of opportunity to throw that in during the period between Akumara's palace and Sei's palace. So it's understandable. Still, Kasumi has awakened to her persona, Sondrion. If... A lot of that terminology that Sandrion gave kind of reminds you of something. Yes, Sandrion is Cinderella. It's just her name in a different language. I want to say French. But there'll be more on that when there's the inevitable history lesson. However, we've been going on for quite long enough. So, we're going to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5 Royal... We have a little bit over a week before the deadline, and well, it was quite an abrupt change of pace, but we should be alright for the rest of the time between now and the actual change of heart. So we'll just continue working on our confidants as well as doing other miscellaneous things in the meantime. Until then everyone. Take care. Because I forgot to check, uh, Milady's ability is Icy Glare, which decreases the chance of us being inflicted with status ailments. I remember to actually find that this time. But for real this time. Until next time.